Greetings everybody, welcome back to my journal series. This is episode 263, I believe. I've done one one or two wee things off camera. Firstly, at our main base here, as you can see, I've raised up the sheep and the pigs. So they're now stationed in boats. And what this really does is allow me to kill all the animals below and I'll still have spares that I can breed to get more animals. So it's good like that, it's, uh, it's insurance, it's a safety net, just so I don't kill every single animal in uh, in sight. We've already done that with the cows over here, I did that quite a while ago. We've got so many chickens. Uh, if you go along here, however, most of the changes have happened at the village. So last episode we worked on the wall, obviously. As you can see, I've got all the strip logs sorted. I have taken out all of the ground here. So it does look, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, probably could do with a little bit of work, but overall it doesn't look too bad. And I managed to mess about with the hillside here as well. We've still got the old uh, gates in place. They're, like, they look okay, but I'm going to try and do something a bit different. And then, obviously, we've got the villagers inside. And they all were congregating down here. They still kind of are. I know that was a thing back in the day. But it still seems to be something now. They all seem to congregate down here. So, I've been informed that, via the comments, that these guys are unemployed. Um, so they don't have any trades. Or I think they might have gone back to being unemployed. Or something like that. But the point is, they don't have a trade. I think you can get them trades. Like, for example, if you put a lectern down next to one, I think it turns them into a cleric. I'm not sure, though. Or maybe a librarian. Um, there's a sharpness 5 dude. Either way, I'm not 100% sure about, uh, about everything to do with villagers, but again, that's really what we're about, is, is learning. And somebody's taking my bed. I used to have a bed in here. Oh dear. Yeah, I've got a bull in front of me, so uh, that was knocked there. Uh, let's just leave that there. I've got more beds I can... Uh, I could use. But yeah, the idea is over the coming uh, episodes we'll hopefully learn a bit more about the villagers. And I've heard from videos that there will be less changes or no changes in future regarding villagers. I don't mean that there will never be changes again to villagers or villages and all that, but I mean that for the time being they're pretty settled, I think. So that basically gives us the green light to go ahead and restructure our villager infrastructure uh, with regards to villager breeders, iron farms, etc, etc. And to be fair, I've had a look online and there's some interesting designs. We're going to try and make a villager breeder today and then we might do an iron farm somewhere else as well, but we'll probably leave that for another episode. So that is everything that I've got planned for today. I've still to actually go and get the stuff for it, but this is what the wall looks like from way up here. It looks okay. Again, I'm not 100% convinced there's going to be raids here, and again, I don't know an awful lot about how raids are activated, but I want to, I want to make safe the villagers, I want to make safe my villager infrastructure, and then, only then, will we go out exploring, and we'll try and find some new areas, I guess. So we're back at the farming district with everything that we have here. Uh, spiders are still spawning in the villager breeder. Not the villager breeder, sorry, the witch farm. Witches are still spawning though, that is the main thing. Uh, so that's good. As you can see over here, we've got our now defunct villager breeder. I don't believe this will breed villagers anymore. Uh, however, what I am going to do is possibly use this infrastructure to create another one. Or not create, to steal the design of another one and implement it here. Now the interesting thing is, these are all the villagers that I used in my old breeder and only one of them is a trade. This is the only uh, villager in my old breeder that's a trade. All the rest do not. And I'm guessing that's because I never traded with them before. I never unlocked any extra trades. That's what I think happened. And then that one up there also doesn't have uh, a trade. It's it's unemployed. As you can see here, we've still got our OP mending villager. 
which is like the best mending villager I've ever seen. Uh, we've got cleric, we've got cartographer, efficiency three on breaking three, not bad. Uh, we've got our farmer here who might play a part in the breeder itself, I'm not sure. It depends on how things work and then we've got our channeling villager and everyone else is just, just whatever really. Uh, so, I think what we're going to do, I th we need three villagers to make this new breeder work. I'm going to keep the farmer, oh, that's not good. Now let's try and get out of here. I'm going to keep the farmer, we've also got all our mending books, so that's good. Um, yeah, farmer will be used as will two other villagers that have trades. I think that's what you need. If not, I'm sure we can make them have trades. We can force them to, to get a job. So, yeah. And we're just going to put that here. Um, because then we can transfer the baby villagers away here. And then we can hopefully utilise them when they're over here. We can check what their trades are and decide if we want to keep them or not. And if we want to keep them, we can drop them here and take them all the way over to... Uh, our other village, although that's gonna that's gonna take time and effort. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work off camera. I'm gonna try and get this place prepped for the building of our new villager breeder. We're also gonna build an iron farm here as well, but not here here. Probably like way over there. So I've begun constructing the villager breeder. I got this from Impulse uh, Impulse SV. I believe might be a hermit crafter, although I don't, I don't actually remember. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've already got the place laid out. That's where the baby villagers will end up, and it's in line with the tunnel that takes the villagers over there. And I had to build it further away because, well, I believe that if I built it there, it would impact, or it would be impacted by villagers that are stationed in our cells over there. So we're going to try and use the stuff that we've built previously. It's just Obviously, we've got to move the location. We're going to get rid of all those doors and everything there as well. I don't think doors have an effect anymore. It's beds, isn't it? So I've got everything I need. I haven't actually crafted uh, the beds yet, but we'll do that now. There we go. And we've got a waterlogged slab here. We've got to use waterlogged stairs. I'm not going to build it on camera. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave a link, but you can easily search up. It's just easy, infinite villager breeder for my graph 1.14 uh, brackets tutorial. So... If you want to go and find it, uh, that's the name of the video, and it does look pretty easy. Although there are one or two, uh, one or two things that are different. Like you've got to change from the tutorial because people have found be slightly better ways of doing it. I think so. A lot of time has passed. This is indeed another day, another day, another Minecraft project. Uh, no, this is another day from when I last recorded. And we've got the farmland all sorted. I think the basic premise is uh, we've got a farmer villager that picks crops, throws them to two other villagers and they breed. There's loads of beds around them. Something like that. I, I'm not going to pretend I'm an expert. And I untilled that soil for the second time in close proximity. But, big, big news. What we are going to be doing is crafting for the very first time a composter. I've not crafted any of the new blocks in 1.14. This is a momentous occasion. Let's do it. So it needs four fences. Um, might as well get rid of that one. Like that. Get rid of all the, the spruce fences. And there's the composter. Now I think we can just place that there. I'm not sure if anything goes in it. But we need the farmer villager to come here. I think we could actually get any villager here and they would turn into a farmer villager. In fact, you know what? We should try that out, actually. So, let's craft our... In fact, no, we don't need to craft ourselves a boat. Okay, yeah, we do, because we don't have a boat. Um, what I'm going to do is get some blocks. In fact, uh, let's just get some smooth stone. Or just any stone. Stone bricks will do. And we're going to go and try and bring that villager over there to, to here. I'm guessing you can't use multiple... Yeah, you can't use multiple planks on the... Uh, on a boat these days. Makes sense. Um, right. Let's just leave that there. And I will begin bringing this guy across. I don't think... I think this guy's unemployed, so we're going to try and get this guy a trade. Uh, we actually need to... 
block this up as well so we'll do that off camera so as you can see we do have a bridge for uh, getting the villager over there to here and uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go and see if I can get the tatties okay I got two stacks that's that's all right uh, we'll just get planting this I was actually going to use carrots but I for whatever reason forgot and used tatties but I think they work with uh, these as well uh, I think we're going to run out, but uh, that's okay. The annoying thing when planting these is when if you need to eat, then you're going to do the eating animation and it's going to disrupt your pattern, but that's alright. So we'll just get all this planted and then we're going to take the boat over to the uh, unemployed villager, the um, layabout villager, whatever you want to call it. And uh, actually we'll just leave that there for now purely because I don't have any better way of getting out up and out so let's uh, well you know that this guy might might go across there automatically although I'm not sure if there's more of a risk of it falling off so this guy's been let out for quite a while I think this was actually a cleric I don't remember right there we go. Let's get the boat turned and let's direct it towards well the farm, the breeder. So again the reason I built it out here was so that the other villagers wouldn't interfere with it. Um, oh look at that, it changed. Did you see that? I hope you saw that. As you can see we now have ourselves a farmer villager but what we're gonna have to do is get rid of that let's till the farmland and now there should be no way in or out there should be there should be no way in or out but there probably is darn it anyway point is we got a farmer villager off the back of bringing uh, an unemployed villager over here that is good and uh, we've got this all set up so the farmer villager should be able to toss stuff to another two villagers that we're going to get in here. And then we just need to set up the... Oh look, it's already planting. Did it plant there? Or did it har... It can't have harvested. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of all of that, I think. Or should we just leave it as a memento? Is that sad? That might be considered a wee bit sad, but uh, I'll leave it there for now. Um... And I think what I'll do is I'll work and get the other two villagers in place and then I'll get the tunnel built so it joins up with that tunnel. It's a hard process but it's got to be done if we want uh, our infinite villager breeder back. So my apologies, I did a lot off camera and it now has got to the point where it's actually working. The villager breeder, as you can see we do have a baby villager up there. Let's see if we can beat it. Not beat it as in hit it but beat it as in beat it in a race to this point so we can stare at it. Uh, there is one small problem that I've just figured out and that is that this system here is not really built to hold baby villagers as well, as you can see. So what we're gonna have to do is that. I wonder can they fit through a trap door? Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't come... Actually, it's going to get stuck, isn't it? Oh, yeah. How, wait, how... What? How did you get stuck there? Oh, wait, that's... That's not the villager. That's another villager. Where's the other one, then? Is that it? But I thought I had a trade. But then again, I didn't think villagers started with... Did it die? I mean, they're breeding. That's the main thing. It, it, the guy was speeding along here. Oh, look, there he is. That ain't good. Right, let's see if we can give this guy a wee bit of a push. Is he stuck on the sign? Rubbish! How can he be stuck on the sign? Yeah, I know why. Oh, he's up. Uh, I know why he's stuck. I'll sort that in a minute. Let's do that, see if we can race him all the way to this end. 
Uh, I reckon he's going to get stuck there. Oh, look, there's a, an Endermite there. Hopefully Endermites don't attack them. Yeah, so only big villagers can make it through this area. So, yeah, we're going to have to come up with a system of holding the baby villagers until... Oh, boy, would you just bog off? Yeah, we're going to have to get away... Yeah, yeah, come up with a system of holding the villagers in place. I mean, he's speeding along quite the thing already, uh, like, right now, but... Um, I don't think he'd be doing that normally. Seems to be working a little too well. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's that's all working. That's fine. Um, yeah, well, yeah. As I said, we'll get a place to house the baby villagers while they are waiting to grow up. I think that's the idea. Although I'm not sure if there's any. Oh yeah, we need to sort this. Put that there. Okay. Yeah, I think that that should work a bit better. The reason what the reason I sorted that was because the gap was too big. It's only supposed to be two between this block and the stair, and that should give the villager, the baby villager, enough lift to get, um, well, to get up, up and out, up and out of the trench. There's actually a way you can do it with, uh, like cobble walls. I saw in uh, impulsive impulse impulse SV in his tutorial. He showed that off. So that's actually a really good tip. I might take that on board in future, but I don't want to change the the look of this place. How did this guy spawn? Did these get Maybe... Uh, the only thing I, I can think of is maybe he spawned um, and then came along here when I wasn't looking, maybe? I don't know. It is very bizarre, but whatever. Yeah, so what, what, what type of villager is that, even? Green coat. It's certainly got my head scratching. Or it's certainly got me scratching my head. My head doesn't do the scratching. Did that guy just fall in? No, he's still over there. Right. Oh, yeah, also, I do want to point out that this thing's broken. Well, it's not broken. It just doesn't work as well. I changed the delay on it because it, w it just wasn't working. So I think what we'll do instead is we'll have uh, soul sand. <laughs> it did work there. But we'll have soul sand propelling the player up in a kind of elevator type thing. A water elevator. I think that's what we'll do. But... I'll do that off camera. Anyway, before I natter on, I'm satisfied with progress this episode. Um, again, not quite sure what to do about this dude. Okay then. Right, he made his own decision. Uh, as for... Well, the one concern I had was that we needed a villager with a profession over here. And we ended up... I took an unemployed villager. And it, it worked. Um, but... I don't know. It... We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to monitor this and see how uh, how well it does. Anyway, apologies if this episode was underwhelming. Uh, I'm glad we got this set up. We've seen it work at least once, which is promising. We just need to uh, enhance the infrastructure a bit more. And we could do that another day. Until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you when I see you.